بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر ذوالفقار احمد این اینڈوکرائنالوجسٹ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ دا ہائپو تھائرائڈزم وچ از انڈر ایکٹیو تھائرائڈ اور سلو تھائرائڈ بفور وی اسٹارٹ اور ڈسکشن پلیز لائک مائی ویڈیو سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ شیئر مائی ویڈیوز ہائپو تھائرائڈزم اور اوور ایکٹ انڈر ایکٹیو تھائرائڈ از اے کنڈیشن ان وچ تھائرائڈ گلینڈ ڈزنٹ پروڈیوس انف آف دا سرٹن crucial hormones which are T3 and T4 hormones. It may not cause noticeable symptoms in the early stages, but over time untreated hypothyroidism can cause a number of health problems. Thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland situated at the base of front of your neck just below your Adam's apple. When your thyroid doesn't produce enough hormones, the balance of chemical reactions in your body can be upset. There can be a number of causes, including autoimmune disease, hyperthyroidism treatments, radiation therapy, thyroid surgery, and certain medications that can cause hypothyroidism. Hormones produced by the thyroid gland are triadothyronine, T3, thyroxine, T4. They have enormous effect on our health, affecting all aspects of our metabolism. The signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism vary depending on the severity of the hormones deficiency. Problems tend to develop slowly, often over a number of years. At first, you may barely notice symptoms of hypothyroidism such as fatigue and weight gain. And there are many clinical signs and symptoms including fatigue, increased sensitivity, cold, high, uh, increased sensitivity to cold, constipation, dry skin, weight gain, puffy face, hoarseness, muscle weakness, elevated cholesterol level, muscle aches, tenderness, stiffness, joint pains, stif- stiffness, are heavy, heavier than the normal menstrual periods in, in hypothyroidism. Usually it is said that everything slows down except the menses which in, in which there is increased blood flow and frequency. There can be thinning of the hair, heart rate slows down, there can be depression, impaired memory, in large thyroid gland which is also called as goiter. You should uh, see a doctor when you are feeling tired for no reason or have any of the other signs of hypothyroidism as, uh, as mentioned above like dry skin, pale puffy face, constipation or horse voice. And uh, there are so many causes of uh, hypothyroidism like autoimmune disease which is the most common cause that is an autoimmune disorder known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis in which the immune system itself makes uh, proteins against the body itself. There can be other, uh, if you are taking treatment for hyperthyroidism, can, can uh, convert into hypothyroidism later. So how we diagnose hypothyroidism is once when you have these symptoms and you feel tired, uh, you have constipation, other symptoms, you go to the doctor and after seeing you and uh, examining, usually the blood tests are done. In the blood test, Uh, there is a TSH, this is one of the tests which is done and TSH levels will be high and uh, T3 and T4 which are triadothyronine or uh, thyroxine, those levels will be low. That's how you are diagnosed with the uh, hypothyroidism. And uh, once you are diagnosed, then the treatment is levothyroxine. This is a hormone which is given orally. It's usually in the form of the tablets. So goal of the treatment uh, is to normalize uh, your uh, body function and uh, the physiological levels. Um, usually the treatment is uh, started slowly with low dose like 12.5 microgram of thyroxine is given early morning you should take before the meals and uh, to avoid the interaction with the other drugs you should uh, not take other drugs like antacids, iron tablets. Uh, uh, along with this uh, thyroxine tablet, you should uh, you should uh, take these medicines if you need to take uh, at least for uh, after two hours. There should be a gap of about two hours between taking this treatment and uh, t- t- taking uh, those uh, medicines. There is one uh, entity called as subclinical hypothyroidism in which the patient's uh, TSH levels will be high 
but T3 and T4 levels are usually within the normal range. Uh, in overt or clinical hypothyroidism, the uh, T3 and T4 levels will also be low, but uh, in subclinical hypothyroidism, T3, T4 is normal, only the TSH is high. So those patients who have uh, TSH high and uh, they have the symptoms also, they are usually treated with levothyroxine. This is the treatment for the thyroid. So as I was telling, start with a lower dose and then slowly uh, increase the dose. Usually the treatment is started with 12.5 microgram and uh, after uh, about uh, six weeks to eight weeks, the test is done and uh, that time the T4 levels are checked and TSH as well and T4 levels are usually kept uh, in the middle of the range which is given in the lab and uh, because first the T4 can be adjusted later on it's the TSH level which will be uh, adjusted and TSH level usually it should be near 3, 2.5 to 3. Uh, and the dose is titrated in such a way that uh, we get these levels. So initially, after the six to eight weeks, the test is repeated to see how much is the levels. And then later on, three months and then six months and then yearly, uh, the blood test is done and uh, the dose is maintained for uh, hypothyroidism, the dose of uh, levothyroxine. And uh, during the pregnancy, the thyroxine uh, level usually uh, uh, more more thyroxine is needed uh, during the pregnancy. Usually, thirty to fifty percent uh, dose uh, is increased during the pregnancy for the patients who are taking and pregnancy some women develop hypothyroidism even during or after the pregnancy which is called postpartum hypothyroidism often because they produce antibodies to their own thyroid gland left untreated hypothyroidism increases the risk of miscarriage premature delivery can also occur and it can also seriously affect the developing uh, developing fetus there can be some other conditions uh, associated uh, with the uh, hypothyroidism like depression. So anybody who has the symptoms of depression, his or her uh, thyroid function tests are uh, done because most of the time the hypothyroidism is the cause of the depression. Uh, but if uh, sometimes the depression medication is also given along with the medications for the hypothyroidism. And uh, also the lipid levels are also checked and uh, sometimes for uh, lipids also the medications are given. Uh, thank you.